How are you? I'm so excited to see you. My name is Mrs. Taylor. I'm your art teacher. I'm so excited to have you in my class this year. Come on in. We're going to do so many fun things this year and I cannot wait to get started. Just like in your classroom, we have rules in the art room too. Our rules are be safe, be respectful, be responsible, be a Bronco. But what does that mean in the art room? One of the most important rules in the art room is to be safe. There should never be any running in the art room. If you're working and you accidentally spill something or make a mess, please let me know so we can get it cleaned up immediately. You are usually sitting on a stool when you are in the art room. Please make sure all four legs of the stool are on the ground at all times. Respect means respecting others, the room, and the materials. If you have something to say, please raise your hand. If I am giving instructions, it's very important that you listen to all instructions. Please do not be disrespectful and touch other people's artwork, whether it's in the room or on the walls. Please do not break supplies on purpose. Sometimes things break on accident, and if this happens, please let me know. The next rule is be responsible. This year, you will be bringing your own supplies to art, which means you will be responsible for cleaning up your own area and making sure that everything is ready for the next class. In the room, you will also see a few stop signs. These stop signs are to remind us that these places or areas may be dangerous or places we should not be. Remember, one of our rules is to be safe. This stop sign is where the cutting board is. The cutting board should never be touched, although you will walk by it many times. You will see the next stop sign by my desk. Please do not touch anything on my desk unless I ask you to do so. The next stop sign is located in the back corner of the room. If you are behind this stop sign, I cannot see you and that would not be safe. When you hear this sound, it means it's time to clean up. When you hear that sound, that tells you it's time to clean up. So you're gonna stop what you're doing. If you have a bucket from me, put the supplies in the bucket, take it to the quarantine cart. Someone will spray it there. You're gonna put it on the back counter where you got it from. And then you're gonna return to your spot after you've turned in your artwork. That may be on a table or on the dry rack and I will let you know that. Once you're sitting by making the quiet sign, I will call you to line up. When I call you to line up, you need to either stand on one of the two X's in front of the door, or you need to stand on one of the dots that go through the middle of the room. When you're standing in line, you should be facing the door. Your hands should be to yourself. You wanna get in line and stand on your dot, smile, and show a quiet sign. Give me sparkles if you think I'm doing a great job. You have a shape underneath your chair. That shape may indicate a job on a certain day when you come to art. If your shape today is the table cleaner, once your table is lined up, I will come spray your table. You need to open up your rag that you got from the quarantine cart, set it on the table, open up your whole hand, and then clean the whole table to make it clean and dry. You also want to do the exact same things with each one of the stools. Now your tables and your stools are clean. You're gonna carry your rag to the quarantine cart drop it in the bucket that you got the cloth out of, and go get at the end of the line. Thank you so much for doing such a great job keeping our room clean. This is called a dry rack. Sometimes we use it when we come to art and we've painted and we have things that are wet that need to dry, but we'll talk about how to use that later. We also have two sinks in the back of the room that may be used if you need to wash your hands. If you do need to wash your hands, please raise your hand and let me know. I also have hand sanitizer available on both sides of my door. Some of you hunt with people in your family and that's considered a sport. 
but in the art room, we cannot draw anything having to do with violence. If you don't understand what that means, make sure you ask me before you draw it on paper. We are so excited you're back at school and we're looking forward to a great year.